Hi, my name is Nicola Stent and I'm a fashion and textile design lecturer for Western College. We are going to be sharing a tutorial with you today on how to make a basic face mask. It's a really easy guide. If you're a new sewer, please don't be scared and have a little look. If you are working in the local community or for a, within a DT project, then just make sure that you do double check with the group of what material that they're happy for you to use. So I'm just going to show you what materials that you're going to need. unlike before you're not going to position position it against the line on my little presser foot you're going to move it to the edge so it will leave you a centimeter seam allowance so what the idea is is that you're going to trap that seam So once you've pressed your seam, you're just going to take it over to the sewing machine and position it as close to the edge on the inside as possible. So you want to position it about a millimetre or two millimetres away from the edge, just like that. So what you're going to do now is just sew, so forward stitch and back stitch all the way to the end on that side. So then the next step is you need to just look, come over to your top of your opening there and just make sure, because your pouch is going to be here. So what we're going to do is just line up your edge there. So you need to make sure that corner is perfectly lined up. And the way that I do it is just open up your seam like so and make sure that that stitch matches beautifully and that's in line, runs in line with each other. And what you need to do is hold it again against the edge, just hanging out a little bit, and then take it over to the sewing machine. And I'm stopping halfway and making sure that your needle is down so your material won't come loose. Put your left hand into the pouch like so, and just poke the elastic out at your gap and then what you want to do is line it up again so again no pins really easy just make sure because what would happen is a little bit of problem solving here some people sew over the elastic so that's why I want you to sew with the pouch facing you just so you can pull that elastic away and you determine where the elastic needs to be at the bottom
So if you've never pleated before, please don't worry because I'm going to show you a super easy way. So we're just going to measure the, I've made a couple of lines already, but you want to put a mark on two centimeters down and then four centimeters, six centimeters and 10 centimeters. Once you get to your pegs, just carefully take them out and make sure that your needle's down, press the foot needs to come up and just trap that pleat underneath your foot. We are going to put a channel, so we're going to sew a quarter of the way uh, from the left-hand side from here all the way to the quarter of the end. So all you need to do really for that is just half it. We can just play around with this bit and put your finger half again and then just put it under the sewing machine, leaving, I would say, leaving a centimetre to a centimetre and a half from the edge. Because all we're doing now, so needle down, and back stitch. All we're doing on this bit is putting a channel in ready for either a pipe cleaner or a hair grip so it can bend around the nose. So your stitching across the top here will just allow you to put your hand in and just tuck a pin or a Kirby grip through your channel. Ta-da, there it is, there's your finished mask. Um, you can also source these funky little metal clips that have got a sticky back and they can just be stuck on the front and they can bend around your nose, but that's just an option. We really hope that you found this tutorial useful. If you are interested in more can-do videos or any of our online free courses, then please click on the link below. And just remember your social distancing. Be kind, look after each other and stay safe. Thank you.